guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well if you can hear a rumbling outside my tumble dryer is going off so that's why but i've been really looking forward to filming this video as it's one thing that i would actually watch <laughs> so as you can tell by today's title i am going to show you what is inside my beauty drawer now this is sort of going to be like a two-parter i'm thinking because originally i wanted to show you what was in there and then use some of the stuff but i think that's just going to be way too long looking at all of the stuff <laughs> that is out of that drawer and that it get got in that drawer to start with it, like baffles my brain i have set it all up <laughs> just to take a thumbnail but this is everything that i'm dealing with so i'm going to move you over and i'm just going to go through some of the stuff I'll say some of the stuff probably more like most of the stuff that i've got in there i'm going to tell you if i've used it what i think of it and yeah just give my opinion so if i look pale as hell and i know that i've been saying it in my youtube videos this year but i think i've had a bad spat with being unwell and i have been literally out of action all day my stomach is still not feeling great but i really wanted to film this video as i do go back to work tomorrow and sad times i'm gonna go for the most boring thing and show you the cleansers and makeup removers or whatever that i use so starting off with wipes i rarely use wipes anymore but i do have a couple i have a couple of these that are the primark ones and this is for oily skin I have just, as you can see, it's pretty much like a whole pack in there. And I just, I, I don't know, not that I didn't get on with it, but I just have my own routine. And then I've also got these two. There's a bit less out of there. But I think I mainly keep these for when, like, I stay over somewhere. But my favourite, but my favourite... Primark, sorry if my throat sounds weird as well by the way. Um, my favourite wipes that I have had from Primark are these biodegradable ones and I love them. These are the ones that I take to the gym and also they're the ones that I also use if I just can't be bothered to use the other stuff that I use. <laughs> And then I only started using these not too long ago because I got them for Christmas. But these simple ones are actually really, really good as well. So if you have been around for a while, you will know that I picked up just some of these. I put my makeup cleansing pads in there and then I pour over my cleanser as it's just so quick. I literally just have to pour it off, pull it off and that's it done and I still do that I would highly recommend doing that so that brings me to pads so I have got the primer pad but ones that I'm actually really really liking are these ones that I've got from home bargains as it is a closer shop to me so I've got three of those I actually think I've got some of those little local ones as well but I can't get in my bedside table as the handles come off. So that's wonderful. Going on to makeup remover. So I have this one from Avon that you can see I haven't actually used. I got this in a gift set that I got from there ages ago. It's an oil infused micellar water. I haven't used it yet so I can't comment. I have this one from Primark which is a eye makeup remover that is oil infused i do like this one i don't love it but i do like it that's why i've kept it for if i stay somewhere and then i have also got this oil one that is infused with cucumber from primark but i've had this one for ages now so i mustn't have i just mustn't have got on with it so i think this one i am gonna actually get rid of but another primark one is which you can't see because of the light the pink grapefruit range that is a gel that turns into a liquid and i don't get on with it it says for combination and dull skin but i just i don't get on with that one 
but everyone's skins are different so if you if i don't get on with it, it doesn't mean you won't get on with it oh my god if you have been around since my packing videos when i went to turkey you would know that i mainly got these because they were so flipping cute from primark but you can get them from Superdrug. and this one is the simple mistler water i loved this stuff on holiday absolutely loved it i have some bio oil i don't really need to go into that a, another simple micellar water that I got in one of my gift sets for Christmas and it's the this is the one that I'm currently using for my little pot with my pads in so I'm getting on with that I have quite a few <laughs> if you hadn't a guess but literally like most of these are stuff that I got from Christmas all I wanted was just like skincare stuff really and I have then got this micellar that is a three in one so it removes deep cleanses and soothes with no perfume for sensitive skin i haven't tried this one yet as you can tell but yeah i'm sure i will like it now i got this one because i saw it being advertised and i'm such a fool for gimmicks all the time not that this is a gimmick because i haven't i don't think i have actually tried it yet um it was just different so this one is the Garnier Micellar Milky Water. That is meant to be really, really nice on your skin. So I've got that one. Now this next one, I'm gonna have to try it again, but I was really disappointed. <laughs> and I still am disappointed because I love the color of it. So this was new in Home Bargains just before Christmas, which is the Micellar Rose Water. As you can see, it mixes up but i just found it a little bit scratchy not scratchy but i've got to be careful with my skin because i have a really sensitive skin like i actually insert i tried to do a weekly vlog this this past week but it just didn't turn out great but i will insert a clip of the other day it wasn't using this but my eyes started to swell and i don't know whether this is because i was crying like an absolute baby this morning but I don't know if you can tell, this eye, can you tell, this eye is swollen. I don't know if you can still see, my eye is still slightly swollen on the top. I don't know why, because I used the exact same cleanser to take off my makeup, and I used the exact same makeup that I normally do, so I don't know why my eye got swollen but i'm definitely going to give that another go along with that i have got this thing i can't read it but it's the cleanse tones and purifies cleanser and toner rose water i really really like this you get on with it really really well see i've got like a nice little stack <laughs> and then my favorite one out of them all that i'm definitely going to be getting some more of is this Garnier one which is the soothing two-in-one makeup remover and once again it's the oil when I first used this like my skin was so soft like I couldn't believe it and you can tell because it's like half halfway empty but I absolutely love this stuff I highly 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 recommend this stuff I think that is literally all of my cleansers okay so now I'm going to go on to moisturizers and that sort of stuff actually no i lie i'm just going to tell you about two hair pet care products that i actually use this stuff is from this stuff is from home bargains it's 79p it's a dry shampoo and i love it it's amazing just want to quickly put that out there and i also picked this stuff up which is the leave-in conditioner spray liquid and I've only used it once, but it was nice. No complaints. So, and it's the repairs and prevents. So I will give you an update at some point on when I keep using moisturizers slash other skin bits. <clears throat> I'm first going to just start off with this Skin So Soft from Avon. If you are going on holiday at any point this year, or even just around here, and you do suffer from mosquito bites, Avon Skin So Soft it is amazing. It also makes your skin so soft. <laughs> so yeah, grab that. Not really a moisturiser, but this is also not a moisturiser. 
but I've tried it a couple of times and it's actually quite nice. So I'm so sorry about the lighting. There we go. So this is the Garnier Glow Mist and it is the Rose Water and it is actually really, really lovely. So I would recommend this. This is for dry and sensitive skin. I have dry and oily and sensitive skin. So this is a good thing in my books. Going on to Revolution, I'm not even gonna say this name because I will not be able to, but it is the Blemish and Pore Refining Serum. I'll try and get it as close as I can, this one. And I highly rate this. I really, really like it. I really get on with it. And they're saying that they're like dupes to the original, but they do have different ingredients in. So that is a very good pour thingy. I then, for, well, it wasn't, wasn't even for Christmas. I got it after at Boots in a sale in a gift set. I'm yet to use it, but it is this face serum that came with this rose quartz face roller. Now I have used just this on its own because it's so cold and I just love the cold. Like I feel the hot all the time. So this is amazing. I'm yet to try it with that though. I picked this up from Primark ages ago. It is the Clear and Cool Blemish Gel, Tea Tree and Witch Hazel, and I actually really got on with this. So I would highly recommend getting this. Just, just, it's just, just good. I told you this video is gonna be quite long and I'm not even like, not really halfway through. This is really, really random, but when I picked up my Gucci Rush perfume last year, I got this little gift set and it had this Lancome Youth Serum thing in it and i actually really really rated that it is really nice so yeah going on to another one of these little friends this is the moisturizer i used this in turkey and it was actually extremely good it didn't irritate my skin at all you can still get these in these little gift sets but i have kept them just in case they don't have them and these are light and just really good going on to my most favorite skin thing shall i say is this revolution hydrating boost lightweight hydrating gel cream i got this which i'm sorry about the light but this is amazing just for like hydrating your skin but it's also really really good as a primer it sits under your fat like foundation amazing or you can just put it on with nothing else and it just gives you a nice little boost and a glow highly 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 recommend this stuff from revolution it's amazing when i started to get into my face care skin care i got this super drug eye cream it's actually really really lovely i wouldn't really say it brightens your skin but it is a really really nice eye cream for your eyes i then also got this revitalizing eye cream from simple that is a roll-on so it's got the cooling effect along with all the good stuff that you would need as well i have so much stuff like it's an absolute joke going back onto primark i'm going to show these three all at the same time but i picked up ages ago this daily brightening vitamin c moisturizer it's like a orange type smell it's for dull and tired skin and i highly recommend these they do still sell them in primark along with the vitamin c brightening serum really love this stuff as well and then as you can see i went a little bit ott and also picked up these glow pads as well from there in the same sort of family brand and uh, yeah i just i really 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 rated that little set i then have another hydrating jelly which is from clinique this is really really good as well also as like a base like a primer and then from Superdrug, when i started off this little kick this overnight peel really really good as well really recommend and then going on to some newer ones that i got for christmas in the little set this simple moisturizer set that is mattifying which it is sorry it just cut off because i hit like 25 minutes but yeah i was going on to this it is mattifying which it is and it also prevents spots so also my battery is getting a little bit low and i've unfortunately lost my actual proper camera battery so i'm going to try and talk quick <laughs> this one i haven't tried but it is a moisturizing cream I do actually get on with nivea moisturizing cream 
so I've got that. And two that I'm actually really, really, really liking at the moment is this set from Simple. This is the hydrating SPF moisturiser that I use during the day. Really, really, really get on with it. It's light, and that isn't the SPF one, that was the night one. And this one is the protecting SPF light moisturiser. So it says it in its name, it is very lightweight. Yeah, I really recommend those last two. Going on to the last couple of things that I'm gonna show you for like moisturisers and that sort of stuff which you have already seen if you watched I think it was probably my last video but I picked up these from Primark the other day and this is the every night eye mask which I'm really looking forward to trying the sleep mask in that range as well and also the lip mask that I'm really looking forward to trying so there is for the second part of this video gonna be sort of a pamper thing going on and I'll be using some select stuff from that and then also just a little thing from Spa, which is not going to focus but it is these little jelly capsules that you put on at night I've been used a couple of these but they are quite nice now going on to the rest of this mess before my camera die so I do just want to show these I got this in the set with that face serum and the rose quartz this is a sleep pillow mist and this one is jasmine jasmine and orange scent but then my utmost favorite that i also got in a set is this one which is lavender and chamomile and that is gorgeous but you do only need like literally like a couple of squirts on your pillow don't want to go ott like i have quite a few times you would have seen i have one of these that you put in the fridge i love it but it's not that comfy so when i found this so when i saw this in primark that is a hot and cold pack i just had to pick it up and with how i felt today all i've done is have this on my head that was from the fridge and it is a godsend and amazing and it was only like two pound fifty so they're great also from that set i have the lavender and chamomile bath salts i guess i've gone on to bath stuff i picked this up yesterday i haven't tried it but it smells really lovely and it is this rose bath fizzer that i got from card factory i think you can probably tell i really like rose scented stuff <laughs> along with that i picked up today this rose bath bomb from poundland i'm not a bath bomb person so i'm really actually looking forward to trying this stuff out and i also picked up from poundland this fresh bath bath bar along with this lavender one and I'm really, you can, really looking forward to using those. I have a hair thing, you know, to keep your hair out of your face. And then I'm gonna quickly whiz you through some of these face masks that I've got. And then we're done. So these two came in a set ages ago, which is this cucumber one and the vitamin C. And it also came with this applicator. If you have watched pretty much all, cause I can't tell you which ones, like, my other videos a lot of this stuff you would have seen because i would have done hauls on them anyway i'm just showing you them again and that was literally just one word i'm just showing you them again i ages ago picked up these watermelon slices from primark they are lovely really liking this cup of coffee scrub from lush just gives you like like you're really deep cleaning what it feels like and a lot of these stuff that i'm now about to show you i haven't tried so i can't comment on them but i'm going to show you them anyway because this is a what was in my beauty drawer this picked up from primark ages ago overnight mask have yet to try it obviously these are from home bargains just blackhead peel off masks they're actually quite good these also from home bargains <laughs> but i got them for christmas you've got the bright eyes under eye gel mask and then the same for the lip i have actually tried those two the eye ones are amazing lip ones are good but they're not the best that i've tried you can buy these gold ones from home bargains that are just a lot better then have picked up i then have this eye mask that you put just before you go on to bed and that don't make sense either but you know what i'm trying to say so yeah i'm looking forward to that i've literally kept that in the fridge for i don't know how long got it out thinking i was ready to use it and i'm not these are from primark and i highly 
highly recommend these. They're the eye masks. Get loads get 15 treatments in here. And I don't think they were a lot of money either. And they do still sell them. And I've had these for ages. So it's those my everyone probably knows this but my pro tip if you're gonna have anything under your eyes is make it cold so either put it in a fridge or by your bed by your bedroom window it's obviously cold air and stuff and they're just oh, they feel amazing these are also from home bargains which are really really nice as well i also picked this up from home bargains the other day if you would have saw it in my previous video if you watched it but this pro keratin hair mask it's quite big like like it's pretty big and this rescues and repairs dry damaged hair so i'm looking looking forward to trying that out when i do my little beauty thing and now i'm going on to the last little bit i can see the light at the end of the tunnel these are, i'm literally just going to show you the ass i'm the face mask that i've got this from Superdrug this that i got in a gift set for christmas these from primark that are actually really really nice this that you can literally pick up anywhere asda tesco anywhere quite old i'm guessing the only sheet mask that i've tried out of this whole lot purely because i had two this sheet mask from simple is actually quite nice to be fair i got these because i'm desperate to see if they will actually change my feet and i think i got the peppermint tea tree and peppermint ones that'll be coming in the next video this garnier moisture bomb these are around everywhere and are meant to be really really good i have yet to try them this that i got in a, another little mask which i do believe is from home bargains see another garnier moisture bomb and then this one that is probably like my most expensive one not that it was expensive it was like 10 pound but yeah i still <laughs> haven't used which is the prep and glow and you get the brighton uh, the collagen under eyes and then the bubble purifying charcoal mask that are just down there and that is it i now need to go pee <laughs> anyone else do that little like dance when you need to go to the toilet but you either can't be bothered or you just try and hold it in <laughs> that is what is in my beauty drawer as you can see it is completely empty also i don't actually think that i have fully addressed this because the video that i was going to go do i just never ended up doing but i have changed my hair color it's got little gray bits on the bottom and it's a lot darker so yeah i'm just addressing that now i wanted to do this whole like before and after reveal but did i do that no because i'm flaky but yeah that is the end of this video talking you through everything that is in my beauty drawer i will try try and leave some sort of links on certain stuff that is in there if you're interested or in the description box i'll just tell you where i got it from and then in the next video I will be doing a pamper with me session and I will be using quite a lot of this stuff and giving my honest opinions on them. So I hope you've all had a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and from me I will talk to you soon. Bye guys. So just to show you before I put the other box in, in here I've literally got all of my moisturizers all of that fun stuff my serums and all of that and then i don't know if you can see it, but right at the back you've got all of my what are they called all of my face masks so i'm gonna push that right back so that now looks really really messy but it's actually not <laughs> i've got my my bath bars there my bath salts the fizzer my bath bomb wipes wipes pads moisturizers that i really like to use at the moment so they're easily accessible along with the cleanser slash makeup remover that i'm using at the moment like i said i do sometimes use my wipes so they're easily accessible 
along with my favourite makeup remover at the moment and then all my other cleansers. So yeah, I did just want to just show you what this drawer now looks like, how big these drawers actually are and finally actually say goodbye. <laughs> So once again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I will talk to you in the part two.